The new Justin Bieber documentary called Justin Bieber Seasons may not officially come out for another few weeks, but an insider has already told Anxious Fan one of the bombshell revelations we find out about the singer in the film. What's up y'all, Samil Ennis Jr. here with Clever News, and uh, we just heard some bad news about Justin Bieber who is just starting his new album and tour cycle. So Justin Bieber Seasons comes out on January 27th right here on YouTube. It was announced first in a cryptic Instagram post by Justin on New Year's Eve. The photo simply said Bieber 2020, and in the caption he just put three dates, January 3rd, January 4th, and January 27th. We know the first date, January 3rd, ended up being the release date of his new single, Yummy. The song quickly shot up the charts to number one, but the next day fell down to number two. On that same day, January 4th, the music video for Yummy came out featuring Justin Bieber with bubblegum pink hair. Justin also released an almost two minute long teaser trailer for his upcoming documentary, where he looks back at the past four years of his personal life and his career. As humans, we go through so many ups and downs. So many good seasons, bad seasons. The short clip features a sneak peek at some sit-down, one-on-one interviews with Hailey Bieber and Scooter Braun, so we're certain to get some interesting bits from both of them when we actually get to watch the whole documentary. But one thing that we don't have to wait for has already been leaked by a source who says that they've already seen the documentary. They went to TMZ to give details about one aspect of Justin's life that we otherwise had no idea about, and it involves a very serious medical issue. For a long time last year, fans of Justin were concerned that he was going through a deep state of depression, and for the most part, that turned out to be true, but what we didn't know was the root cause of his depression. Apparently sometime in the past few years, Justin had contracted Lyme disease. Nobody close to Justin is quite sure where or when he became exposed to the disease, and for a long time it went undiagnosed and untreated. Lyme disease is contracted when a person is bitten by a tick, usually a deer tick that is carrying the disease. For a lot of 2019, Justin was unsure what was causing all the severe symptoms that he was feeling. Symptoms include headaches, fevers, muscle pain, sleep issues, fatigue, and depression. And in the documentary, Justin and his team apparently discuss the symptoms that he's feeling and struggle to figure out what is causing them. A lot of cases of Lyme disease go undiagnosed because of the commonality of the symptoms and the rarity of actually contracting Lyme disease. People who have Lyme disease are also instructed not to touch alcohol. It can make symptoms worse and have negative effects when combined with Lyme disease medication. So all those photos of Justin looking sad or of him crying and Haley comforting him have valid explanations. Nations. Multiple times in 2019, Justin was spotted out and about looking severely distressed. As this was all happening at the same time that he was planning his official wedding ceremony with Haley, people assumed that he was regretting his decision or just under a lot of wedding stress. A lot of people also assumed that he had turned to drugs, pointing out the acne on his face. Well, patchy and dry skin rashes and acne are also symptoms of Lyme disease. And now that Justin is being treated properly, it looks like his skin has cleared right up. There was one photo of Justin walking out of a hospital with an IV in his arm, taken sometime in September of 2019. At the time, people assumed that it was just an IV for a routine vitamin drip that can help people feel refreshed. But now we know that it was actually pumping him with medication to help offset the symptoms that he was feeling. Apparently now though, he and his team are well aware of the diagnosis and are taking the necessary steps to make sure that he is being treated properly by doctors. He says that he is ready for his upcoming album cycle and his future tour, which is to be expected to start later this year. Hopefully that remains the case as album cycles and tours can be really exhausting, but we know Justin has had to cancel tours in the past, which is also discussed in the beginning of the new trailer for his documentary. So we'll see what happens as time goes on and he continues to drop new music and eventually his album. I'll be tuning into the documentary on YouTube in a few weeks and I'm sure you'll all be watching as well. But until then, what else do you think we might find out when it comes out? Are you looking forward to new music from Justin, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And then click that subscribe button if you want to hear even more music news from us. You get all the top stories and so much more. And then guys, click right over here to watch another brand new story. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Emil Ennis Jr. here for Clever News and I'll see you soon.